hello everyone this is Kerry Anderson hope you all doing well in today's video I'll be talking about um, what's the purpose of your gallbladder in your keto diet so does keto diet uh, work without a gallbladder so if you like the video related to total health I would like to request you all please do subscribe the channel hit the bell icon and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information so here we begin let's go the keto diet is a low carb moderate protein high fat diet that many people follow for weight loss and therapeutic reasons as well as increased energy reduced blood sugar and other health benefit but what happens if you don't have a gallbladder can you still do to the keto diet after gallbladder removal so this is a common question give uh, Given the higher fat content of the keto diet and the general recommendation of a low fat diet for people who have had their gallbladder removed, still the answer is yes. You can follow a keto diet after you have recovered from a gallbladder removal surgery, but uh, there are some important steps you will need to take to ensure you do it um, happily and healthily. So, what's the purpose of your gallbladder? The gallbladder is a small sac located just beneath the liver its primary function is to store bile a green fluid that helps with fat digestion and assists with fat digestion the gallbladder doesn't produce bile the liver produces it the gallbladder just shows it gallbladder surgery gallbladder removal is sometimes medically recommended when gallstones are represent or are present and causing abdominal pain and cramping so what happens when you don't have a gallbladder and you eat fat immediately following a call cystic Tommy, you need to eat um, carefully to help your body adjust your breathing without a gallbladder. Clear liquids are great or as are some solid food, especially healthy low-fat foods. Once your body is limits you will be able to add more diversity including more fat however since there is no stored bile in your body you may experience diarrhea and discomfort consequently some doctors recommend you continue to mitigate side effects by eating a low-fat diet consisting of many small meals featuring lean protein whole grains and vegetables spicy food may be best avoided until bowel movements normalize even then they may not work for you even long after recovery without a gold plate or bile is not immediately available when you eat fatty food think fried food some red meats and dairy product especially high fat dairy like ice cream etc so the liver has to work harder to produce more bile this means anyone without a gold battery relies on their liver to ramp up every time they consume fat since a keto diet is higher in healthy fat it is important that you pace your high fat food intake if you are eating keto and don't have gold bladder otherwise you can consume too much fat too quickly and the liver may struggle to produce enough bile this is not immediately life-threatening but it can result in unpleasant side effects such as diarrhea or gastro intense channel distress plus uh, because you are not fully digesting the fat you are eating you might not get enough fruit nutrient thus you will want to take extra step to ensure you can both digest fat and get the nutrient from the daily grams of fat you consume while enjoying a keto lifestyle without a gold bladder so how to digest fat without a gold bladder so in that case you need to just get to know that how to digest fat on a keto diet without a gallbladder managing fat on a keto diet without a gallbladder is not hard it just requires thoughtful eating and heating the following simple tips find your personal sweet spot of how much fat you need to consume to stay in ketosis while keto is a higher fat diet but you may be able to eat less fat than you think and stay in ketosis it's also maybe easier if you eat smaller frequent meals rather than big meals in this case of keto without a gallbladder less fat is better because the less fat you eat the less strain on your level to help process it still in order to generate the benefits of the keto lifestyle you will need to make sure you will eat enough fat to stay in ketosis to discover your own uh, sweet spot for fat consumption you will need to measure measure your ketone frequently and adjust your diet as best you can to stay solidly in ketosis while minimizing your fat food thank good fat like salmon and avocado rather than greasy food and fatty food like deep fried cauliflower if your ketones remain about 1.0 millimole per liter or above while consuming less fat you are solidly in ketosis so eat soluble fiber um, 
along with any fat soluble fiber draws water into the colon so you digest a little slower which plays less work on the liver some good keto source of soluble fiber include brussels sprouts avocado broccoli sunflower seeds hazelnuts although we think it's best to go and get your soluble fiber from the whole food such as the one listed above you can also take a soluble fiber supplement regardless a high fiber diet is good for everybody modulate what kind of fat you consume long chain fatty acids such as animal fat olive oil and macadamia and nut oil require bile so but medium chain triglyceroids are extracted uh, from palm cur kernel oil and coconut oil and mct oil is absorbed quickly without needing gallbladder resistance this is one reason why mct oil is popular in the keto community is easily digested you can also get mct in powder form for coffee and smoothies which is even gentler on your stomach uh, than mct oil that's all about the keto diet in this video i hope you really liked it i'll definitely come in the next video with men on the content till then god bless you bye bye and take care